Mixed reactions have continued to trail the decision of the federal government to reopen Nigeria's airspace to international flight amid the coronavirus pandemic. While some have expressed concerns about the safety of travelers, others are excited to return to business after a long while. Adesha Waudushoga has been speaking to some concerned stakeholders and fails in this report. We are very glad today to announce that um, international flights will resume from the 29th of August, 2020. It's the news many had been waiting for, especially business owners abroad, whose trade to canals dive after Nigeria shot its airspace in March. Before deciding to reopen its airspace for international travel, the federal government four weeks ago successfully resumed local flight amid tight safety protocols at the airport. Though excited about the development, this Lagos-based businessman says is also concerned about his safety and that of other passengers. My biggest fear is safety. My biggest fear has always been we've waited for the past four or five months for this, but are we really safe now? Is it that everything is okay now that they are opening up the economy? People need to survive. Even though we're on one hand, we're thinking about safety. On the other hand, people need to eat to survive, you know. And if you don't open up all these flights, the economy is not going to be back to normal. Another person who cannot wait to commence business proper after five months of restriction is this aviation stakeholder, Bengal Logo. Given an account of the losses recorded within this period, it says he cannot wait to resume back to business. The entire value chain of aviation has been tremendously affected. If we're going to talk in, in, in figures, I mean, we've been talking about figures in the past. It's, 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 it's tons and billions of dollar loss. Right now, almost all the value chain are broke, bleeding. Workers are home. Businesses are down. And so if you feel the pressure of people, if you feel their bl blood pressure, people would rather say, well, I better die of COVID than die of hunger. While the resumption of international flights will translate to increased economic activities, it could also mean a hike in Nigeria's COVID-19 cases. Public health experts to Yime Bawadu expresses concern about the move. When the people now come in, what do you have to monitor them? Can you do contact tracing for them? What I mean by monitoring, do you have a digital tool that you can use to monitor them, whether in form of mobile phones or apps? that I can tell you that for this period, um, uh, we are going to they are going to watch them for the next 40 days should they develop symptoms. So these are the core preparation that is essential if we are to open our airspace. Nigeria's coronavirus cases have exceeded the 50,000 benchmark with over 37,000 persons discharged. As the government intensifies efforts to flatten the curve, it is also taking simultaneous efforts to protect its economy, which is gradually sliding towards recession. Adesha Wawdushoga, TV360, Lagos.